guys, welcome to Rotodeal and today I'm gonna tell you my results when checking three of these insect killers that basically everybody's buying and this is the new type of insect killers that uh, everybody's been talking about because for the first time we don't have any chemicals or uh, any problematic radiation or what's, whatever. The things you usually see with these kinds of devices, we actually see a natural killer over here these insect killers work by using UV light and a fan. Once an insect or a flying bug goes inside, it actually suffocates. So that's the whole procedure here because it cannot go out uh, from the same place where it went inside and it cannot go out from this cage over here. This is the same mechanism for all of these three. But what I tested was, is this actually working and is it better than the other three products or actually which is better from the three leading products on the market. So let's begin. Hello my friends, I'm Rotodil and welcome to the channel. I've been reviewing gadgets for the past couple of years now and I invite you to join the channel. You can do that by clicking on the red subscribe button down below. By clicking on that button, you'll basically join my adventures and uh, see my future reviews. And I also plan on doing some giveaways. So definitely click on that button if you wanna be a part of the giveaways or the channel. I would love to see you on my next video. But today we'll talk about this. And as you can see now, this is the Sohow uh, insect killer. And the box basically doesn't tell you that much because I think in the end, the mechanism here is really simple. But what I tested was the three most important features on every insect killer. The first one is obviously how many insects did we catch. And I ran this in a 48 hour window with these two devices. So the one who caught the most is the best one. But other than that, I also tested the actual sound level or uh, sound volume that comes out from the fans of this product. That is important if you want to put this in your bedroom and I will tell you the result in this video. I also tested the electricity charge from this device so I'll tell you if it's basically uh, gonna cost you more to want this, this one or this one. So let's begin. This product is obviously the design I like the least because it's too black for me at least, for my taste and it's bigger than the rest. That means that if you're going to put this in your living room, obviously people are gonna make comments about it. Unlike the other two which blend in more for my, at least for my uh, taste, we only have one button like in all other um, insect killers. Once you press on it and you have the USB cable connected, you'll see that you get the UV light over here and you get the fans running. Basically, that's the entire thing that's working right now and the insects are basically going inside through these holes and into the cage. Once they are inside the cage, they suffocate. They need around three hours to actually die, so this is something you need to understand. So once you see an insect goes in, go, go inside, don't press off uh, on the switch over here if you actually see that happening. Other than that, you want to put this in a very high place. The higher you put it, the more successful it will become because this is where the insects are. You also want to turn off all the electricity products um, like TVs or anything with lights inside the room and close up the room for at least a couple of hours before you go inside if you put this in your bedroom. I actually didn't do that. I just let everything run, these three run at the same time and see who caught anything with the TVs or whatever. So if you want to get a better experience though, you want to turn everything off and close up the room. Other than that, if you want to open the product and actually see what's inside, we have to disconnect the power cable. Once we do that, we just take this off and you'll see that here we can see the fan and we also have this part, which is basically the exterior of the fan system. And then you have the cage itself. Let's talk about results now. The cage caught three flying insects. That means that from my experience, this is the best insect killer. And I also have reviews of the other two, but I'm just gonna tell you the results in this video anyway. This one caught three insects while 
This one, the Xiaomi uh, Killer Cactus, caught only one, and it isn't uh, doesn't look like uh, a mosquito. It looks like um, some kind of flying moth, maybe I don't know. So I'm still giving it one point, even though it's definitely not a mosquito. And the bucket over here is the quietest of them all, and it didn't catch anything. So still, this thing is the best this product this specific product is the best out of the three and like i mentioned before these are the most selling and highest review insect or mosquito killer so this one is the best for my experience at least after we talked about how many insects it actually caught i want to tell you my experience in terms of sound level and i used my sound meter and i'm also putting links in the description of this video below for this specific product this insect killer and also for my uh, metering uh, product, my uh, electricity metering product, which you will see soon. But in the end, um, we did get a higher charge from this specific device. That means that basically you're gonna pay more for electricity and the actual ampere on it was 0.42 amps, while on the other devices we got 0.19 or actually 0.29 on the cactus so there's big difference here you're gonna pay more but you're gonna get results in terms of sound level we did get a high sound level on this product but not as high as the cactus which was even louder i actually got a result of 52.1 on the sound level meter while on the cactus i got 53 on the bucket i got 46.1 which is the quietest and i could actually go to sleep with it but when i don't have any sound at all in the room i get 41 so you can see the differences between 41 or 52.1 which is what you're gonna get when this product is actually running i don't think i could manage to go to sleep with this product in my bedroom so this is something i just have to put out because for me myself i don't like fan noise if you have more noise than me in the room or you don't really care about fan noise you could get it and go to sleep with it with uh, inside your bedroom so one thing i want to add about this type of product and like i mentioned they are all the same type in the end this is the best one it also uses usb to get its charge so you can basically connect it to a portable battery and take it anywhere with you so you can basically catch insects on the go this is an important feature that i actually like because I wanna take this product with me on places where I'll sleep in a tent, for example, and I don't want any insects or flying insects inside the tent around me. So I think we really reached a day and age where you don't really need to put any chemicals on yourself, you just have to get one of these, and it actually works, and this is the biggest surprise for me at least. So I'm happily recommending this specific product and the whole, I think the whole genre of catching insects without any chemicals um, to you or anyone who has a problem with insects and it's definitely it's the best it's the best one believe me so that's it three insects caught on this one one on this one and zero on this one that's the best product like always i'm putting links for you in the description below for more information about the product or how you can get it the pricing here is really cheap we're talking about less than 20 dollars for each one of these so just get them you, you're not gonna lose anything and like you just saw they actually work i mean this one specifically works the best so get it and uh i hope i'm gonna see you on my next video i'm gonna put two videos over here for you to watch these are basically these two reviews so go there if you want to see me talking about my experiences with these two and another video over here you are also invited to subscribe if you haven't done so so i'll see you on my next gadget review i'm going to see you soon thank you very much for watching i was Otrodil. bye bye